Hello again everyone. So today I'm going to show you how to apply submix automation using MPC3. So I've done a couple of videos on submixes and how to initiate them, how to apply them, etc, etc. In a couple of those videos I mentioned limitation associated with submixes. Once you apply an insert, you don't have the capability of applying any automation to that insert. Well, that limitation is no more. Now with MPC3, you can automate your submixes. Before I get started, I'm going to take you guys over what a submix is. Just a quick recap. So, say for example, if you have four tracks uh, and you want to apply an insert to all four tracks, well, underneath normal circumstances, you would have to apply an insert or the insert to each individual track. Well, with a submix, what you can do is you can take your four tracks, route the outputs of those four tracks into a single submix, and then apply the insert to that submix. Now with MPC3, as mentioned before, as an added bonus, you can apply automation to the insert, apply to the submix. Either way, I've done enough talking. Let's demonstrate this. I'm curious as to what you guys think about it. I'm really, really excited about it, but either which way, let's go, let's go. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, I have a brand new project. I've loaded a drum kit onto this project and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to record a simple kick clap kind of arrangement. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's turn on the metronome so we'll have some guidance. Record. Perfect. Cool. All right. Just a simple arrangement. Might apply some time correction to it just to make it a little bit more cohesive. <clears throat> I am human after all. <laughs> all right. So, uh, so we have our track set up, ready to go. Now, um, let's dial over to, all right, let's see here. Let's duplicate. No, actually I would just apply a new track. So let's see here. The interface is a little bit different here, so... Okay, here we are. So if I go over here... Okay, perfect. Perfect, okay. All right, the interface is a little bit different, still getting used to it. So um, now on track number two, I have the same kit. And what I can do is maybe apply some of these effects or some of these other sounds. Yeah, I'm just kind of building a quick, uh, dem <laughs> quick demonstration here. All right, let's see here. Let's go. Track number two. What are we gonna do? Okay, cool. All right. Straight out of the box, I suppose. All right, here we go. All right, good enough, good enough. Okay, so we have two tracks. Actually, let's go for three. Let's go for three. I want to make I, I want to make this demonstration as thorough as possible. Let's see here. Okay, so now that our audio arrangement has been set up, now we have the capability of routing our tracks, our pads to their 
appropriate destinations. So what I'm trying to do right now is I want the mix to react to this kick drum. So in order to make that happen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to go into my pad mixer view. Now under normal circumstances, it would, it, it would show up, uh, the, what you would see is the volume view first, but I'm going to switch over to the input output view. Perfect. Okay. Now, um, let's see here. Actually, I'm going to go back over to the volume. View. Okay. So, so track number one is using, uh, pads two, three, and four. Okay. And the kick drum, but I'm going to save the kick drum for, uh, my side chain effect. And I'm going to explain how that's going to work here in a moment. So let's see here. These three pads, I'm going to go to the input output view and I'm going to switch the pads. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pads number two, three, and four, and I'm going to route their outputs to, I'm sorry, I'm going to route their outputs to submix number one. So when I go back to the main menu here and I go over to submix number one, submix number one now has those, um, uh, submix number one is now responsible for the output of the pads that I just mentioned, those being two, three, and four. All right, perfect. Now I have the capability of applying, um, an insert to my submix. All right. So let's just use the filter. Okay. All right. Now, this is where it gets cool. I'm going to engage the filter. I'm going to switch my Q link over to the frequency cutoff. Okay. So basically what just happened right there is that pads two, three, and four, because they were routed to the submix, um, they're the only pads that are impacted or affected by the filter cutoff. Because again, the filter cutoff is applied to the submix, not the individual pads, but a single submix. Now, with MPC3, we can now automate our submix. If I hold shift and I hit the step sequencer button with the MPC, uh, with the MPC Live 2, um, what it'll, what it'll do is it'll trigger the automation sub feature. So that button went red. All right. Now, if I press overdub, go back to the beginning, of course. If I press overdub and hit play start, watch this. it. Now you can automate submixes. By the way, when you're done automating, hold shift and deactivate the automation. That's very important because you don't want to accidentally overwrite that um, during your next overdub. But for the most part, that's it. And that's so, so cool that you can do that now. Because that is going to save, well, It'll, it'll save me a ton of time and effort because, oh man, that used to really, 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 really get to me again, guys. I'm so excited about this. So, so sorry about the enthusiasm, but either, either way, yeah, that's so cool. So earlier I mentioned that I was going to apply a side chain effect. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to basically get rid of the air filter and the subsequent operation. All right. Now, remember how early on I routed pads two, three, and four to a submix and I left pad one alone? Uh, I did that with, <laughs> I, I did that with purpose. So let's see here. Um, let's go. Tr okay. So we have three tracks here. One, two, and three. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back over to my submix track. 
well actually let's go back over here for a moment what I'm going to do is I'm going to route more of my pads and tracks to their to a respective submix so track number one is taken care of I'm going to go to track number two here so let's see here that's track number two where did my output go let's see here track number two because when I put on track number two let's see Got it. Okay. See it. All right. So track number two. There we are. Let's go. Actually, okay. So I'm gonna. Uh, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the channel mixer this time around for tracks two and three because um, and and the reason I'm doing it that way is because I, for the most part, I only used one or two sounds per. I don't necessarily have to separate the pads out. So let's see here. Let's go to the input output of track number two and let's set it for submix number one. And then track number three, I'll also set it for submix number one. Perfect. All right. Let's go to the main menu again. Track number three, we can do the exact. Oh, we already took care of it with track number three in the, in the channel mixer view. Okay. So now let's go over to submix number one. I'm going to apply a dynamics effect. I'm going to use the mother ducker. Where is it? Yes. All right. We're going to apply the mother ducker. I did a video on this one as well. So basically the mother ducker is the MPC's sidechain compressor it reacts to some input the um, so the so the sidechain input engages gain reduction um, basically carving out space for other things in your mix so let's go back to the main menu all right so just to recap tracks two three and so let's see tracks two and three along with pads two, three, and four of track number one have all been routed to submix number one. The only thing that has been left out so far is, let's see here, is, go back to track number one, is the kick drum. So let's go over to the pad mixer for a moment. Here we are. Perfect. All right. Now, with the pad mixer, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply an insert. And this insert is going to be, you guessed it, the Mother Ducker input. And so basically all that's happening right now is it's just being routed to bus number one. It's just a side, it's, it's just a side chain input. The, the Mother Ducker um uh, provides its own bus system. So now let's route, I'm sorry, let's go back over to our submix number one. All right, so let me explain what's happening right there. Well, it's, it's pretty obvious. Every time the kick drum is triggered, it causes gain reduction on everything else that was routed to submix number one. Let's make some adjustments.
enough of that, enough of that. <laughs> but you guys get the point, right? Um, this new submix setup for MPC3 is extremely powerful. Um, and these are just a couple of examples of how to go about using it. But uh, yeah, I would highly recommend. I would highly recommend it. Again, I, I get excited about this stuff. <laughs> so let's do a quick recap. So we basically explained what a submix is. We explained how to uh, automate your inserts on submixes, and we also did a quick little pseudo tutorial on how to uh, apply side chaining to a submix. So that's it. There you guys have it. All right, guys. So there you have it. That pretty much does it for submixes, uh, submix automation, submix side chaining. I can go on with this stuff all day long. I really, really like submixes. It makes for more cohesive, more dynamic, more um, efficient workflow, so to speak. So I'm hoping that you guys found that helpful. MPC3 has a lot under the hood. Um, hopefully I'll get an opportunity to examine it a little bit further and make a few more videos. But until then, guys, like I said, I hope this was helpful. Thank you guys so much for the support. I just hit a thousand subscribers not too long ago. So thank you guys so much on that one. And um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Until then, I will catch up with you soon. All right. Thanks.